MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's the home opener for 2017 between the Texas Rangers and the Boston Red Sox. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. Here's Elvis Andrus now, and we are set for baseball here Leading this off evening. Tonight for Texas, shortstop Elvis Andrews. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here it comes now to Andrus. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Here's Carlos Gomez. And she'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. And oh, to be on the beach in Hawaii tonight. 43 degrees at first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. And I'm not sure, but it looks like he may have been blindfolded for that swing. It's 0 and 2 now. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Belfry. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And here is strike one call to the 37 year old veteran up there. Nothing and one. And now a pitch on the way. Oh, and Beltre really wanted that one, but he didn't get it behind 0 2 now. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0 2 on this hitter after having two quick outs. Nice job. Hit on the ground out for short. Bogarts has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the field. Leading off of the Red Sox, number 25, center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Eight. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1.
toppled high in the air out to right field. Mazar is under it. One down. Batting second. Right fielder. Mookie. Here's Mookie Betts. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Into the windup and the pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. One out, nobody on. Two and zero. Oh. Now with the two zero -oh count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. He takes a fastball on the inside oh, corner. Right. You're sitting 2-0 in that situation. You get the fastball, but it's not the location you want, so you lay off it. I love that. That's great discipline hitting. 3-1 well, and one now. 3-1 count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corners. Into his motion. Here comes the 3-1. and one. Now a ball hit high in the air and deep down the line in left. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. Here's Xander Bogarts now. First swings for him in this one, with a runner still at first and one gone. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Now a throw over, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Runner at first here, one man out. Fastball called for strike two. Two takes, and now he's down 0-2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give a guy at first a chance to run. Oh, and two home now to Bogarts. Oh, that's up there. And that one stayed up a little high. You know, that almost works like a pitch out there. Maybe you get the guy to chase out of the zone, but at the very least, it gives the catcher something good to throw if the man on first is on the move. One and two, here it comes. He's running towards second. Grounder down the line at third. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well, hit and run right there. The runner still and gets the second. The ball doesn't get the outfield, but the hitter gets a base hit. In a sense, it was a successful play, but it's not exactly what they want. Dustin Pedroia comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. That's a good pitch right there. Now he's ahead in the count. You got the hitter back on his heels a little bit. Even though it's a tough situation, you know, you're going to have to use all your pitches to pitch out of it. Beltre's there. Tag on him, and he's out at third. Batting fifth. Left fielder. Mitch In now, Mitch Moreland. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh. oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Ross pauses. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. It's there. He's out trying to take third. And a poor gamble in hindsight there is the inning. Here's Rugnet Odor now. He looked to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Rugnet Odor. Into the windup and the pitch. And a wave and a miss at a knuckleball for a strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. 
And this is going to be a foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And a knuckleball ties him in knots there, and that's the first out. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. Catcher, Jonathan First Lucroy. pitch of the at-bat on its way. Just off on the timing for that knuckleball. No score here as we play inning number two. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up. But when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Jonathan Lucroy goes down for First out baseman. number two in the Pedro top half. Alvarez. Just got a piece up the line. That's a foul nope, ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a dangerous knuckleball to miss high with. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Grounded foul. Trying to strike out the side, here it is. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. He'll Red lead Sox. it off against Tyson Black Ross. Hey. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Matt, that ball's right down the middle. It looked like he wasn't even going to offer at it. Some guys don't mind taking the first pitch, and they even feel hey. comfortable when they're down 0-1. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now the 0-2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Oh, that was a good job of spoiling the good pitch right there. Two-strike breaking ball right on the corner, and he's able to foul it off. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seat. And this is swung on and missed, and Moreland is set down on strikes for the first out. Digging in, Chris Young. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. And a good swing there by Young, but this is pulled a bit too much as it'll find the seats out of play. 0-1, here's the pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Here's the 1-1 now to Young. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Beautiful changeup. Got him out front with that swing right there. That's what a changeup will do. Just keep you off balance. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Chop foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. He'll try again one two. Fastball three. strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. At the plate, Pablo Nine, Sandoval. Seven. He'll try to make something happen with two gone Pablo. in the bottom of the second. Sandoval. Ross is ready. Here comes the first pitch. Eight. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Here comes the 0-1. And boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Oh, man, I talk about frustrated. You're down 0-2 with this guy. You know he's got four pitches in his back pocket. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side.
Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll move to the. Now to the plate, Mike Napoli. Napoli. Seven, eight, nine, the bottom of the order five. set to go here in the third. Mike Napoli. A swing and a knuckleball making him look bad. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And Napoli can't connect oh, there as that's by him for strike two. Really aggressive swings right now. Ball's out of the zone, up high. He's swinging through him, not going to put him in play. He's really got to bring that pitch down and get it into the strike zone. Throw on to He's first up. is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for round number one. Here's Joey Gallo now. Into the windup and the pitch. Lays off 1 and 0. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. Third inning, no score to this point. Swing, and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Under it is Sandoval, and there's the second out. So stepping in, Nomar Mazzara. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Pedroia has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Here's the left fielder, Hanley Ramirez. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. First baseman. First pitch on its way. There's a changeup over the outside corner. The wind up and the 0 1. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Digging in, Sandy Leon. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Now it's not always about velocity. There's some Hall of Fame pitchers that didn't throw that hard, but they made a living with that pitch. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start One continues. Ball, two slider, good two-strike pitch, but it misses 1-2. and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Digging in to try it again. Center Jackie Fielder. Bradley Jr. Jackie 0 for one here Bradley in the early going. Jr. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. And this is fouled back and out of play. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball and the count holds at 0 and 2. Another 0 and 2 coming. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Down. Digging in for his second at bat, Elvis Andrews comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Elvis Andrews. First pitch is a slow knuckleball in there, 0 and 1. He's having a really good game. He's over 70% first pitch strike. When you get that first pitch strike, now it opens up the whole strike zone, and that's why a pitcher can dominate, and he's doing that in this game. 
takes a knee high fastball. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Leon has it and he makes the throw to first. Andrews is retired and there's one away. Center fielder number 14. Striding in once Carlos again, Carlos Gomez. Gomez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And that misses ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Here's the one and two delivery. Heading out towards shallow right. Betts giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Ready for another chance. Adrian Beltre. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here it comes. And a good no. idea to hold it's off on that swing. It's ball one. Dribbled up the line. Foul ball, however, strike one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Fouled straight back. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he chased it in the dirt. Leon recovers. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. One, two, three. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mookie Betts. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Number 50. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Matt, he's really putting on a clinic. The first pitch strike, we talk about it all the time. He's 90% in this game, first pitch strike. When you do that, you're going to have great success. Here comes the 0-1. And that misses one and one. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. And Beltre throws on to first for the out. The shortstop, number two. Stepping Xander into the box, Bogart. Xander Bogarts. First delivery to him on the way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, he definitely got away with the changeup right there. He hung that one. But the good news is it got him to pull it foul. Now you come back after him here with another pitch. Aye. Takes a high fastball for a strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight. And mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been... Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. The windup and the 0-1. And there's ball one. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two-seamer to right-handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. 
And a neck high fastball that time. Ross is ready. 2 2 on its way. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Well, he's been on How quite a roll tonight, the retired eight hitters. Now, with that base hit right there, that kind of breaks that streak of retired eight in a row. Let's see how he adjusts out of the stretch now. Into the box now, Mitch Moreland. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One and zero pitch on the way, and look out as that one ran in and got him. Here's Chris Young. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. I like the aggressiveness, Matt. He hits the batter, then he comes right back with the fastball and says, dare you to hit it. I'm coming after you. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Two down, runners at first and second. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gomez has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Boston strands a couple through four. Still tied. Nothing. Here's Rogne Dodor. Or now. He's in to get second baseman. infield shifts now they'll overload to the right with the shortstop on the other side of the second base bag into the windup and the pitch grounded to first and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out up next for the Rangers now with the plate Jonathan Lucroy comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Hey, talk about having to hit two different speeds. How about you got to slow your swing down to hit the knuckler? Then you have to speed it up because now the express, the fastball's on the way. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. Now look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. 
They'll swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. This is the time in the game you start thinking, hey, they might get better swings. Then you see a swing like that. Boy, he's still got it working. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Rangers. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. 0 for 1 Leading for him here in this one. Third baseman, Pablo Sandoval. Into the windup and the pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The one and oh delivery. Lifted in the air to center field. Gomez has a read on it, makes the play one away. Now batting, first baseman, Hanley. Here's Hanley Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. The high fastball is in there. Well, he's really peppering the zone right there, going up in the zone. I wonder if he stays there the whole time. Usually you'll see that with two strikes, not with no strikes. Awfully oh, close with back. the slider there, but it's one and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to first, two gone. The catcher, number three. Digging in the switch hitter, Sandy, Sandy Leon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he misses with a high changeup that time, a dangerous pitch. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. 2 and 0 now. Remember, he was a strikeout victim last time up, but this at bat seems to be a totally different direction. He's showing good patience now, and he's got a real good count at 2 and 0. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And this will miss okay. down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3 and 2. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Ross sets his sights with the payoff pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Red Sox. Here's Mike Napoli now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 protected. in the ball game. The left fielder number five. Here's the first pitch Mike to him. Napoli. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Now here it comes. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far. But right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Can't time the knuckler there. Now it's full three and two. Man, we're getting late in the game. He's ball still jumping all over the place. The knuckler has been working. That's why he's still in this game so deep into it. And he struck him out. And there's.
there. Strikeout number 11 in the ball game. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned. <laughs> First pitch on its way. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Bets on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Well, he had to track that one for a long time, and he did so while looking back over his shoulder. Not an easy play by any means, but they practice these all the time. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. As the first pitch one, misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 1 and 0 pitch on the way. Zero. And an annoying knuckleball ping ponging past a swing for a strike. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding him on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Matt, I don't know about you, but, man, I love offense. And, and sixth inning stop, to get the first Elvis, hit. Let's Andrew. go, boys. It's getting a little boring. About time. Here's Elvis Andrus now. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Slow curveball like a balloon and he couldn't hold back. It's strike two. Now that's a good curveball. That's the old 12 to 6 from midnight to 6 a.m. And he's doing it all day. And the runner's breaking for third. Pitch is high. The throw. No score at this point, but a two-out hit could get a runner in from third. And the runner's coming home. Well, he's not squaring as the pitch is a ball. And a ridiculous way to end the inning. Not sure if he thought. Jeremy Jeffress play. is out from now the bullpen the now as he'll make his first appearance here on the season. Jeremy Jeffress. Here's Jackie Bradley now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Hit hard on the ground is short. There is Andrus. And a good throw gets him one gone. Here's Mookie Betts. A hit in two tries so far. Right fielder. First pitch on its way. And a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Here it comes. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit on the ground out to short. Andrus has it. Throw gets him, two down. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. He's set and the pitch. 
Nope. And That's that one stayed too low, nope, apparently. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Soft liner to the right side. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. We'll get a look at the speedy Elvis Andrus when we join you next. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Elvis Andrews. 0 for 2 Watch with a couple of strikeouts Elvis for him so far. Andrews. Tyler Thornburg will come now on out of the bullpen the as he'll be appearing in this Number third game this season. Tyler Thornburg. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. Hits ball one. And now pitch on the way. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Here's Carlos Gomez. He's 0 for 14. 2 thus far in this Carlos one. Carlos Gomez. Here comes the first pitch. Zero. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. He might have been setting him up with that high fastball to change his eye level. Now he's got him set up. Maybe he'll go down the zone. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. Oh, straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. I like that combination right there. Show him the curveball, and now that fastball sitting in the low 90s is going to look even faster. Nice job of mixing it up. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Two and two count. Here it comes. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. That's a and ball. a fastball just a bit up. Hit down the third baseline. And this is right by Sandoval down the line. A fair ball. That ball was hanging right there just saying, hit me. The only problem he had was to make sure he kept it fair, and he did so. In now, Rugnet Odor. This will get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 0 1 pitch. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is Ladies over. One it's left for. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He's for one for two in the ball game. Second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Here's the first pitch to him. And he lays off there, 1-0. and oh. Fly ball out toward left center field. Napoli over to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting, left fielder, 
Digging in once again, Mitch Moreland. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit in the air to straightaway center. And Gomez will look this one in for out number two. Now batting. Riding in hit. once again, Chris Young. Young. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Eight. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Napoli has it in his tracks. And that's the third out. Down in order go the Red Sox. And this is still. In is the catcher Jonathan Lucroy. Been a strikeout victim catcher. twice in this one. Jonathan Lucroy. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Ready with the 0 2. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Tried to get him to chase that 0 2 curveball there, but he wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. And now is Pedro Alvarez. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Bases are empty. One man out. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. There's two pitches in a row, Matt, that were away. If this is any indication how he's going to pitch in the rest of that bat, he's saying, you're going to beat me the other way. Nothing inside for him to pull. If you want to hit it, take it the other way. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Two up, two down on strikes the in this inning. He looks five. really sharp out there, Mike guys. Napoli. Ready once again, Mike Napoli. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Look out, and that'll give him a close shave. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. That's just not a competitive pitch. I mean, that ball wasn't even close. Now the hitter's sitting 2-0. and A swing and a miss at the big curveball. Faces are empty here with two men out. Started go. to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And he lays ball off. Four. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Up next for the Rangers, the designated hitter, Joey Ready for another Gallo. chance. Joey Gallo. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
Zero. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Well, that's a true indicator he's looking for a fastball in. He wanted to spin the win right there, knock one as far as he could. He got the off-speed pitch inside, and he pulled off of it. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. The 0-2 home. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. Now another 0-2. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Leon corrals it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Rangers leave one. We are still scoreless. Coming to the plate now, Pablo Sandoval. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Here comes the first pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. pitch not close it's two and oh two and oh pitch on the way a little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line and there to take this is Napoli for the first out now batting first here's play. Hanley Ramirez Hanley. he comes in All 0 for right. 2 thus far First pitch of the at-bat on its way. So a rather weak start to the at-bat as he misses badly there. It's 0-1. One out, nobody on. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. The pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Napoli ranging back. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. The catcher, number three, Sandy Leon. Stepping in, Sandy Leon. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. That's a ball one. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Oh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. Now the pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Napoli moves over, and that ends the inning. Red Sox. Welcome back to baseball on MLB Network from Boston, Mass. We're set for the final innings of this one. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. 
One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Carson Smith will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting number one, shortstop, Elvis Here's Elvis Andrus now. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Bogarts to his left. He's there on to first, and there were two down. Now batting the center fielder. Here's Carlos, Carlos Gomez. Gomez. Go for three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Now here's the pitch. And that's cut on and missed. 0 and 1. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. The pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. And we still have no score. Sam Dyson enters to do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Ready for another shot now. Jackie Bradley Jr. He'll lead things off here as we play the bottom of the ninth. And they'll start the at-bat with a sinker as this is chopped fouled at the plate. Comes set and the 0-1. Seared down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Well, this is going to get real interesting. You get a base hit right here, and now you bring that winning runner on base. Are they going to play more of a National League game, maybe bunt him over? Or are they going to be American League traditionally and try to slug him home? Let's see what happens. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. Here's Mookie Betts. And the first pitch to him is a changeup. We can't find the zone. It's ball one. The winning run is at first base. Slider over the inside corner for a strike. Throw over to the bag, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Possible winning run aboard here, nobody out. Foul back. Now the one and two pitch. Bradley runs. And this one gets away. So he moves all the way up to third here. Possible winning run 90 feet away with nobody out. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that winning run stays at third with one away now. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Here's the first pitch. 
Xander Bogarts runs up as if to bunt and missed it. Strike one. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get in the chase right there, make him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. The one and one pitch. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Side corner. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In comes Mazzara, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And they will not try it as the winning run has to hold tight at third. Second baseman number 15. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He's got a chance to win it here, but with a couple of bases open, they might think about working around him. Now a snap throw over to third, but he'll be in there easily. Here's the first pitch. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Oh, right there. Sometimes you can just miss a ball. Doesn't mean you have to swing and miss, but that ball's right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't square it up the way he'd like to. He missed it. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Well, he's hoping to be a hero and drive in the winning run, but that swing tells me he's a little too amped up. You don't chase a pitch that badly if you're playing within yourself. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Gomez has a read on it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Red Sox leave one. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Adrian Beltre. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, and he had to be looking for something else to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. When you're facing this good a hitter, man, that strike one becomes so important to get ahead with him and make him think about something else. Now you can control the at bat. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Now the 0-2 to Beltran. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, the strikeout result isn't good, but to go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Rukna Dodor swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it, but it probably looked good coming in. And this is going to be a foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two now strikeouts on Catherine. six pitches? Jonathan he isn't messing around, Lutor. and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. From the stretch, Jonathan Lucroy is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Oh, man, he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. Grounder down the line at third. 
Throw to first to get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half. Digging in to try it again. Mitch Moreland. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Pulled toward right center field. Gomez has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Hey, this guy's not wasting any time, right? Gets a first pitch fastball, and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Chris Young comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. One out, nobody on. And a tough take on an inside sinker that just missed for ball three. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aborted first. Now Here's the panda the now, Pablo Sandoval. Eight. No hits in three Whoa. tries so far. He struck out once. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Possible winning run on first, one man away. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. The one and one pitch. Off for second is Young. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. Now the one and two pitch. Pitch is high. The throw. Out. He's set. Here's the two two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Calling for it. Mazzara. And that retires the side. Nothing doing for Boston. We are still scoreless. In now is Pedro Alvarez. Three at bats for him in this one. All ending with him going down on strikes. Pedro Alvarez. And that's in there for a strike. Oh, that was a good looking slide of the head. It kind of hung him on. Now here's the pitch. That's over, one. but low, it's a ball and a strike. One and one, here it is. Skied into straightaway right. There to look it in his bets, and that's out number one. The left fielder number five. Ready for another Napoli. chance. Mike Napoli. 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. Good slider there and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And boy big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter yep, the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Wow we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense and they've been fantastic all game long. Joey Gallo is in with two away as he takes a ball one and all. Bases are empty here with two men out.
This ball will be chopped foul. This is pulled into right. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule right double. When you play in 30. this park where the fences Omar are shorter, Mazzara. this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. When he hit that ball, it took a big bounce and hopped over the wall for an automatic double. Into the box, Nomar Mazzara. As he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 1. Runners on his way to third. Hit swung on and missed the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, that definitely caught me off guard there. That wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second. I can't say I agree with the strategy, but at the same time... Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Now the one and two pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. He went with the off-speed there once he got him to 0-2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Up with it, Leon, and that ends the inning. One left for Texas. Digging in to try it again. Hanley Ramirez. He flew out in his last at bat. Keone Kella. Hanley Ramirez. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rangers. Number 50. Oh, he chased a bad pitch that time. It's strike one. That just can't happen. I mean, first pitch, if you know what you're going to swing at, you got to have a good swing. You can't take a bad swing on the first pitch of a net bat. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Nope. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Well, he's out in front of that changeup. I think, Matt, that was a result of the fastball the pitch before. He's throwing so hard, he got to honor that fastball in that situation. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Digging in once again, Sandy Leon. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch has him dancing to avoid it. It's ball one. Bases are empty. One man out. Mine to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, they got a little something started now. One out, little one out rally. Got a chance to win the game. You got the running runner on base. Time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The 1-0. -oh. 
That missed. Close. It's ball two. Oh, he missed that pitch. I'll tell you what, as the pitcher, he's got to gain his composure. You can see guys fall apart after you see a ball in the zone that long get called a ball on it. Now the 2-0. And no signal there either. Not doing him any favors behind the plate here. It's 3-0. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. And that nope. misses ball four. So now the potential winning run moves into scoring position where a single could end this thing. Riding in once again, Mookie Betts. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And this is up and in ball one. A lot of times you'll see the take sign after five straight balls to start the inning, but with the middle of the order of the play here, I wouldn't be surprised if he's turned loose. Just has to be the right pitch to hack it. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Andrew Bennett will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Now catching number 16, Andrew Benintendi. Ready for another shot now, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off now as we play inning number 12. Christian Vasquez is into the ball game here as he takes over behind the plate. Now catching number seven, Christian Vasquez. Here it comes now to Andrus. Softly hit out to short. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. With that, the Rangers get their leadoff hitter on base after the inning opening base hit. Boys, he had a rough day. Three strikeouts, and he finally gets a base hit. Before the delivery, a check on that go-ahead run at first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Another look to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Another throw over, being especially careful here. Now a quick move here to step off and look the runner back. Once more, a throw over, and the runner back. And again, a throw Reset. over, and he'll get back in standing. And again, a throw, runner back standing. Stepping in now. Carlos Gomez as he'll reach unsuccessfully at a slider away at strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now a throw over to first and a dive but he's back in. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. The 0-1. Little dribbler down the line. But that one rolls foul. Here's a look over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Oh, 
And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. So a run on first now with one away, and digging in the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Here's the first pitch. This one's down to third. Sandoval has it. Pedroia relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets a race. Ready once again. Xander Bogarts. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Xander Bogarts. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound, and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying to do too much. That's easier said than done. Good curveball that time in the low 80s. Nothing in two. And a neck-high fastball that time. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Mazzara over to his left. One away. The second baseman, number 15. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Dustin Pedroia. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. He's set. Here it comes. Oh, what a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. One out, nobody on. And a swing and a miss that time by Pedro as he finds himself in an 0-2 hole now. Got to love a reliever that comes in firing bullets. And his fastball is a good one. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. The next 0 2. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Luke Roy has it. And he makes the throw to first. Pedroia is retired. Two down now. Striding in, Christian Vasquez. Now a swing and a chance for the third baseman, Beltre. On to first, and we're headed to 13 as that ends the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Digging in, Rukna Dodor. A hat protected. trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. That looks like he just swung right over that sinker right there. What is so hard about a sinker, you have to almost go underneath it and scoop it. If you got one of those swings that goes over the top, you're never going to hit him. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Look out. That one almost got away from him. 2-2 two and two now. Swing and a line drive. But foul. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Now batting. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Craig Kimbrell enters from the pen the now as they've saved their Number closer 46. until this deep into Craig extra innings.
Oh, and a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And this is fouled at the plate. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Up next for the Rangers. And now is Pedro First Alvarez. Pitcher. It Pedro was a flyout Alvarez. for him in his last trip. He's set and the pitch. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. In my opinion, there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this on the mound other than this guy. It looks like he feeds off the challenge of pitching in tight games. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. Looking for the strikeout, here's the 0-2 pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Ramirez is there, and the side is retired. Here's Chris Young. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. 1-0 count, here it is. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And this will be taken in out there by Gomez for the first out. Now batting the third baseman, number 48, Pablo. Here's the Panda Sandoval. now, Pablo Sandoval. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s, though. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Gomez has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Up next for the Red Sox, first baseman. Here's Hanley Ramirez. Hanley. He struck out Ramirez. swinging in his last trip to the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Changeup messed up his timing for a swinging strike. The 0-1 on its way. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Yeah, I doubt he's going to look back at that swing when he's reviewing the video of his at-bats tomorrow. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gomez on the run, and that retires the side. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Still no. Here's Mike Napoli now, and he'll be the one to begin the inning. Fielder, Mike Napoli. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Start of that swing a bit too early. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. And he struck him out again. So that's the old sombrero there, partner. Four strikeouts in the ballgame. Settling in now, Joey Gallo. It was a two bagger for him in his last at bat. And that's taken for strike one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Way out in front. One out, nobody on. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. He went down on strikes last time up. And this is fouled back and out of play.
Zero. A swing and a miss and a ball down. And there's number eight, one away. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. And he strikes him out here for route number three, so after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And he'll lead things off as they'll try to walk off winners in the bottom half. And that is through into right field for a single. So the leadoff man reaches base safely here in extra innings. Here's the first pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 0-1. Lifted the other way to left center. On the move is Gomez. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he will make it back to second and be content with holding on there. Now batting. Into the box now, Mookie Betts. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, bang. Here's Xander Bogarts now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. It swung out and missed the throw. Hey, that's not easy to do. To steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this, great base running there. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here. One away. Foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Ready with another two-strike offering. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Well, that's a tempting pitch right there. You got that runner on third base. You're looking for something to drive. You want the ball up. But it was a good layoff. Not the pitch he definitely wanted to hit, but it was tempting, no doubt. Swing and a fly ball, but shallow. And that's not going to do it. Mazzara is in now to put it away, and that'll keep the runner from tagging. A second baseman. So digging in now, Dustin Pedroia. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. And here's a ball hit in the air. Andrews ranging into the outfield. And that's the third out. Austin strands a couple. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Digging in and looking for more, Elvis Rushed Andrews. Elvis Last time through Andrews. was a base hit. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Ready with the 0-1. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. He offered at that pitch out of the zone there, and I think that's the result of the previous pitch getting called against him. He might feel like he's needing to expand the zone if that's how it's going to be called. So he records his fifth strikeout there. Elvis Andrews becomes the first out of the inning. Carlos Gomez. Carlos nope. Gomez is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1-0. and The 1 0 delivery. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Everybody knows he's got that fastball up in the hundreds. Man, you just got to get yourself ready to let it fly. Get your hands through the zone as quick as you can. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. He's set. Here's the 2 2. 
And he strikes out again. And that's the fifth time he's punched out today. This has certainly not been his game. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Belfry. And looking to improve on a one-for-five effort so far. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. That's the international language of fighting words right there. When you throw that fastball up and in, man, that upsets a hitter. That could end my career right there. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately he just fouled it off. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here's another 2-2. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Now another 2-2. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So no runs, no hits, no air. Digging in for his second at-bat, Christian Vasquez comes into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a line drive, foul. Here's the 0-1. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. All one's the count. In the dirt, and he is in at third safely, so the winning run is 90 feet away with nobody out. The 0-1 takes a fastball on the inside corner. Well, that's two strikes at the knees, and now you find yourself 0-2. I, I tell you, he's throwing the ball so well, you got to set your sights down low and look for any pitch down. That misses one and two. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. And he'll look at a called third strike, and that winning run will hold it third with one now big out on the scoreboard. This is lined in the left field, and it's going to fall for a base hit. And at long last, the winning run is across the score. Well, the way things unfolded, you kind of had a sense that this thing was going to end in dramatic fashion, and that's exactly what happened. A walk-off for the win? Wow. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Hey, when you go out there and punch out 11 hitters and you put your team in a great position to win a ball game, you deserve all of the recognition that comes your way. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. Craig Kimbrell claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Flezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Boston Red Sox. One run, eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Rangers, no runs, four hits, 
No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 58 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park, 36,298. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.